Hey Siri, set timer for three minutes. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I'm currently mixing up my resin and I am going to be revisiting Hearts of the Ocean version two. <laughs> I'm using thicker hearts. I made sure I've taped the back much better and there are no holes in the middle. And I've had three shocking days in my creative space that has made me almost in tears where resin really has kicked my ass and I've had three tragic days. And it's tragic because I didn't end up with anything amazing but lots of learns along the way, but I hate wasting resin, I hate wasting time, and I hate feeling like I am crap. Uh, but you know what, you get back on the horse, and what I've done is revisit the Hearts of the Ocean, version two, and I have done my uh, base coat twice in acrylics to map out where my colors are gonna be going. You can watch my previous videos on how that is, but I am gonna be working with the same colors as I've done in my other videos. If you wanna know what those are, check the description or pop back and see one of those. And I will fast forward through this part and see you as I start applying the resin. So I hope you are having an amazing day and you've enjoyed weekend with the family. So what I have done is taped underneath, made sure it's secure, leveled all my boards and got my area ready to cover up. So there will be two coats of resin on this. So this is my base layer and then I'll come back and hopefully add more depth on my second coat. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. And the first thing I normally do is secure where my sand is going to be with clear. I want to take advantage of some of that underpainting that I've done. And I'm also going to make sure my starfish as clear around it because even though I'm going to add some colour I want to make sure that that looks like it's coming through the ocean. And I have got sand, that real sand that I am going to apply in as always and I am not bothered if this drips over the side because I will want to rub some clear resin around the side to help seal that. But at the minute I'm just going to let that level out a little bit and I'm not too worried about the little bit of the resin there that's seeping on because I usually add that to create some amazing effects as well. I'm sending myself positive vibe. Positive vibe Sharon. You are gonna do this. You're gonna have you're gonna break your run of bad experience in your creative space. And you're going to regain some of that confidence back. The reason I'm working with them upside down like this is because I've got my tub ready to cover up. So I needed to, them to be into this pattern so that that is going to work. Okay, so I'm just going to give a chance for that sand to absorb it. Quite like that effect. It makes the starfish look like it's slightly under the sand. Cool, I will leave that as that is. Now I will add my ultra marine blue. Because I'm working with acrylics and it's water-based, I only add the acrylics at the time I'm using it. And you have to be very cautious with the amount ratio because resin will try and reject that and it'll make it go all marshmallowy. So you have to be fairly quick when you are applying this. This is where I'm just assessing if I've got the right amount of resin. As you're all aware, resin is self-leveling, so uh, you don't want to overcommit with how you've got because as it flattens out and levels out, it'll run into areas you don't want it. And this one's really just mapping out colours for me. When I do the next coat, that's when I'll get some even more effects.
All right, now I'm gonna add my cerulean. And I'm not washing my brush in between. So I don't mind if there is a few tones that come through from the ultramarine. This one I have noticed does go marshmallowy fairly quickly. I'm going to work fast here. And It's not to block your view, but I don't want to dribble. <laughs> what am I saying? I'll be selfish. I'd rather compromise on your view for a short period of time just to make sure I don't ruin these pieces. Got a lot of people wanting to purchase these ones. Now I'm going to go green blue. Using the same stick, so carrying some of those tones through. Turquoise, green, blue, not blue, blue, green. I'm going to torch these and then it's time for the white. All right, they look like they need a little bit more sand. Just dribble. A little bit of that clear that's left, just on top of the ends. Right, now it is time to mix up the white. to an end I swear all right so just gotta remember to come in quite delicate with the white because this is a small picture Sharon I wanted to stay here but what's that weird thing happening there how bizarre all over it. Let's get a clean one of those. All right, heat gun time. I want three main waves rolling in, in the middle here. Heat 
here. And here. So I'm going to see what happens to that. Just go around my edges so there's no harsh lines, although that one there is. Just have to pick that up and just wipe around it. Just check in that everywhere is as close to the edge as possible. No obvious gaps, and I might just put a tiny little bit more clear where the starfishes are. So you get to see them peeking out, and then a little bit of glitter, and then that's it for this layer. Okay, so I've got to remember that there is another layer going to go over this, so it's not about perfecting those waves, but it is about giving me enough um, for it to create depth when I come back through with the other layer. And I blow a glitter. Check for dust, although I'm not too worried about dust because of the second layer. And then these beautiful little hearts of the ocean can go to sleep for this evening. Now, I've been adding a little bit of glitter for the sparkle in the ocean. However, on the second layer I don't add it, but there's just enough for it to come through. Hey Siri, set timer for three minutes. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I am going to be doing my second coat of resin, third layer in total. These all were worked on yesterday and they cured hard to touch, so I'm going to attach my second layer that will cling nicely to the resin. And I am just ready to do this. And it looks like it's all cured beautifully overnight. Things I want to just make sure I'm now in my controlled environment for dust. I'll make sure I get resin all around the edge. And I've made sure my boards are level, so I can move that out of the way. And I will not be applying glitter for my second coat, but I will be using exactly the same colours. And I have a little bit of sand um, to one side in case I feel I need to apply a little bit more sand. But other than that, I've got my Liger Shandy, and I'm going to relax and enjoy this process. Cheers! the same as before I'm going to apply my clear around where my sand area is and the area I want to try and protect but I am going to make sure I try and get the resin to go over the edge just to seal those sides A little bit of sand, not a lot. Okay, we're done with that. Now I'm going to put the colours out and then one for each one. Colours are just laid out in front of me in order so I know where they are.
right, so I need to scoop some of this clear up to show my shellfish again. We start off with such a big beach and end up with nothing. Alright, so let's bring you in for a close up and then this one goes to sleep. So here we are, number one, number two, and number three. And underneath, I'll be using those for a collage. They're all being collected, beautiful colours. Yeah, so I'm very happy with those. Just need to let them cure and they will be ready to purchase. So I wanted to show you these three beautiful pieces that I finished. They are Hearts of the Ocean version two. The difference is this time I stuck to one side and I used a thicker board and there is no holes in the middle. So super proud of how these have turned out and I love them. The detail, the starfish, I seem to always lose my sand area but I think it's more about the ocean and just that feeling of it. And although they are part of a family, they are all individual and this one um, I love this wave here and on this piece I love how this one looks like it's foaming over into a wave but um, some of this area here splash so much movement in that one and then on this one I just love the different colors and tones that are coming through um, throughout it so they are a family and I think they're just magical. So I had success on the back, so I'll show you the back. Um, other than a tiny little bit of clear resin at the top, they all came off beautifully easy. And these three will be available on my Facebook shop. If you're interested, pop over and have a look and I'll be doing another set of three um, shortly. So if you like my work, remember, thumbs up, subscribe and share. That's really, really helpful for me. And my channel also I would love to know what you've been working on uh, how's your week been I've had a really bad week in the studio and it's nice to be able to come back out and do something that has worked for me <laughs> sometimes you really doubt yourself as an artist but remember if you want to uh, see what products I've used check in my description box and they'll all be labeled there for you to see what I use so have the most amazing day and remember to be super creative and relax. 
and be by the ocean where possible.